Hello and welcome to tutorial 178 in this series of tutorials and programs which focus on TradeStation Easy Language. In this tutorial, I was asked by a GoldPass member how I would go about sending text from one chart to another. And the added complexity for this client was they were using multi charts. So some of the options that uh, are available in TradeStation were not available to them. However, the way that I've done this does function in TradeStation and multi-charts. And that is using EL collections, which were introduced by a, a TradeStation user quite a while ago, but really are an excellent uh, technology and very easy to implement. And so let me just explain the program and show you how I did it. So firstly, uh, this very simple program, what I've got is a moving average crossover. When there's a cross, we draw some text on the chart. But what we also do is we add that text to a map and the receiving chart reads from the map and then draws the, the same text on the equivalent bar. So what I've got is a, a GBP USD one minute and a EUR USD one minute on the receiving chart. And I've kept deliberately kept this simple by using one minute and one minute because it does require that there is an equivalent bar stamp. And that's something that we'll calculate in a moment on both charts. So let's have a look at the sending program to start with. And I've inc included some notes in the program, which are also on the program page. But if you have not installed EL Collections, then if you are a TradeStation user, you can read all about doing that at this topic on the forum. So assuming you do have it installed, let me just go through the program. We clear the print log and then we create this map. Now we're creating a map NS, which stands for number string. And then because we want to share it with another chart, we're creating it, we're sharing it. And the syntax is dot share. Incidentally, if you do download EL collections, then there is a very good PDF. So you can read about all the syntax available. And for TradeStation users, I think TradeStation really is discouraging people from using this because a lot of the things can be achieved using Global Dictionary, which is part of TradeStation. And with the map, I've just uh, created this STRS as a sort of key. And then the first thing we do is we clear the map using the stamp string. Uh, we clear the map. Then we calculate the moving averages, slow moving average, fast moving average. We plot them and we calculate the bar stamp. And I've used the same system here as uh, is used for ADE, which is another similar technology. And that is date plus time divided by 10,000. And then what I've said is if there is a cross, fast crosses above slow or slow crosses above fast, then we draw the text and I've just used the legacy uh, drawing syntax here for the text. But then we put a value into the map. Syntax for that is dot put. We have the stamp string, which is our map. We have the bar stamp, which is going to be the uh, the, the number parts of the number string. And then we have the string, which I've just hard coded as a particular uh, text. And then just to uh, show what's going on, I've also included a count of how many um, string pairs or map pairs in the map. So I've done something very similar for slow average crosses above fast average. And if we go to the receiving chart, you'll see that is even simpler. We, uh, we set up the map NS and we share in the same way. We calculate the bar stamp in the same way, but this time we're, re we're getting a value from the map NS. We do that by saying map NS.get stamp SR, STR, that is the ID for this map that we're using. And then bar stamp is this value here. So that goes into a map with that ID, looks to see if there are any number, str number string pairs we're using this bar stamp. If there are, then it puts the string into ret string. And then I've just said, if ret string is not, is, uh, not equal to nothing, then we're gonna draw the value on the receiving chart. Now there is one other thing though, because what can happen or what, what frequently does happen with crosses is during the bar, 
the two lines will cross and we will add something to our map which will then be transferred or read by the receiving chart and drawn on the receiving chart but then then the the moving averages uncross so we need to add a little bit extra a little bit of extra syntax so it's saying that if the uh, if the crosses occur we do this but otherwise then we remove the the uh, pair from the map so that we don't get a situation where there hasn't really been a or there has not been a cross on the sending chart but the receiving chart thinks or has got the text drawn on the receiving chart that that should not or does not happen and uh, also just to mention that i mentioned that these are very very this is a very simple uh, demonstration these bars are available with the same timestamps on both charts and uh, if there was a bar that didn't have or if there was a there was not a bar with a timestamp then you would not get the text drawn using this technique which is uh, very simple i'm sure you could you could improve upon it anyway this these programs are available at no cost for gold pass members hope you found this useful please do join the markplex email list that's m-a-r-k-p-l-e-x.com and join the uh, the newsletter the email list and also subscribe to this channel so thank you very much mm -hmm.